Yo, what's good, y'all? Zayko back in another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do like, like this little moonwalk type thing. Like it looked like you're gliding on 2K15. Like I know a lot of y'all play playing 2K15 because you know 16 kind of did. But look, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. If you guys don't know, don't know already. Just hesitations, like how to spam it. Some people like they just be moving their sticks. They don't know. They don't really know what they're doing. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do it consistently. So first of all, you wanna make sure. Your controller settings are on absolute. You always want this on absolute. Like I always say, bro. I don't know why my shotgun test is on. I always have that off. But yeah, put this on absolute. Put this on absolute. Put that on absolute. And defensive assist strength. That don't got nothing to do with the video, but you want that all the way down too. But check me out. Once you got that, first of all, you're going to need some attribute bar bars on your playmaker to be doing these moves. Like, you see my playmaker is maxed out right now. But anyways, for... For the moonwalk glitch, the first glitch, like, I'm going to let you guys hear my controller. Like, you want to, like, hold down R2, but you can release it and, like, hold it back down, like, every couple seconds. Like, listen, if you guys can hear my controller. It's like I'm not fully letting go of the button, but you see what's going on, bro. Like, I'm just releasing it just a little bit, and I'm pressing it again. I mean, you can let go of it all the way. When I, if you let go of it all the way, it's not, like, the same, but if you, like, go like this, that's when you get the effect. Just keep pressing it fast, 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 fast. But barely release it. Don't let it like release all the way. Look at this. When you do that, people be psyched out. Like let's say, let's say you're dribbling. Let's say you're dribbling. And then you come over here like this. The person gonna be confused. That's easy bucket. Even though I did just miss my my, my course on Hall of Fame. But anyways, let's get into the next move. The little hesitation. You guys gotta know how to do this by now. Look. For the hesitation, I have crossover two, by the way. <clears throat> for the hesitation you want to like dribble like one way like this like when you dribble that way you you don't press r2 at all yet like if i'm going to the left i do this without pressing r2 take with the right analog move it to the opposite ball hand and then you want to hold r2 and dribble to that same ball hand that you just dribbled to like this so it's like if the ball is in my right hand and i want to do it to the left side i'm going to be pre pushing one time left with the right stick and then one time left with the right stick plus holding R2. Like, look, it's easy. And, of course, it's going to go back. If, if the ball's in your left hand, you're going to push to the right two times. Look, it depends what kind of animation they give you, but this is real easy. Like, you don't want no ug ugly hesitation. Let me see if I can get an ugly hezzy. Like this. You do not want this. Like, what is this? You cannot be at the stage. You're probably doing this. Like, this is ugly. Once you do it, you want to press R2. Like, look, consistently. Anything else you guys want me to bring to you? I got to, like, some people told me to do an attribute update on 16. I'm going to do that for y'all, too. If y'all want one on this game, just let me know. It's Zay Cole back with another video. I'm out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if this video help you. And stay cold.